Amazing day friends and welcome to another edition of Auto Review. I'm Ron de los Reyes and today I'm coming to you from the beautiful town of Tanay in Rizal, which is uh, becoming to be the camping capital of the Philippines. I noticed that there are a lot of uh, uh, campsites that have mushroomed during the last uh, three or four years in, in the area. And uh, we are here at the Sierra Madre uh, campsite. Very peaceful. Now we're experiencing a slight uh, drizzle and uh, that's part of uh, the Tanay uh, climate because of uh, the pine trees and a lot of greenery in, in the area. And we're test driving the new Photon Thunder. This is an all new Photon Thunder and uh, they, they launched it uh, only a few months ago and it has a 4x2 automatic transmission. It has a push button start and uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, improvements on uh, the model. We also set up camping here. Uh, we have our tents and uh, our tables and uh, later on we'll set up our kitchen. In the meantime, let's walk around. Auto review continues and there's a little bit of uh, drizzle uh, in, in the area but that's fine. It's uh, natural with uh, some rainforest here in uh, Tanay uh, Rizal. Of course, uh, we're test driving the new Photon Thunder with the automatic transmission. It's a 4x2 but we did not encounter any problem going to some uh, terrain, especially going in here at uh, the campsite. So this is something new for the Photon Thunder, new uh, logo which is almost embossed on, on the grill so it looks uh, tougher, it, it, looks, uh, it looks like uh, the, the bumper is a bit uh, extended so uh, that's also good. You take a look at the overall design in the exterior and uh, you notice that uh, it's a good looking uh, truck. Uh, there's a glowing line from below uh, going up to the hood and then to the roof. Ang inahanap ko lang dito, sana merong uh, roof rail. So you can easily install a, uh, a crossbar in case you want to go camping like, like uh, what we're doing now. But it's good. Uh, we can actually improvise. And I think Photon uh, made the provision also for that if you want to uh, modify the, the roof, uh, that'll be very easy. And then the tires, uh, you have 18-inch uh, uh, tires and also an original rim which also carries the Photon logo. And then you have the uh, very useful uh, step board. On the side mirror, you already have the light uh, over here. So, so even the incoming vehicle, the driver of that incoming vehicle can also uh, see you when you do the turn uh, signal. So over here you have a pickup bed uh, which is standard in uh, most uh, compact uh, uh, pickups and uh, we put here some of our uh, camping gears like uh, you have the tarps and then uh, our box for the kitchen and then the folding bed. There's no cover yet but at least it has it has some hooks where we were able to put this uh, this net. Tailgate is a little bit heavy and here you also have the embossed Photon uh, logo and uh, the name of the model, the Thunder. And then the tail lights, third brake light is up there. And then you have a good uh, step board uh, right here. And there is also backup uh, sensor. This, what's good about the, the Thunder, you have the combination of uh, visuals. When you back up, uh, you see what's uh, in the rear and then if you're getting closer to an obstacle, there is the, the sound that you hear. That's the perfect combination for uh, going on reverse. Uh, in fact, sometimes I prefer the sound instead of the video when uh, going on reverse. But you, if you have the two, that's perfect.
sometimes medyo mahirap hanapin yung pag-open no? pero ito medali din eh. It's in the almost on the middle and then you just have to push it to the left and the hood will open. So let's try it. And then we push to the left and then put the hood up. Goes up slowly and it has a hydraulic uh, stand. So napakadali no? para sa owner or for the driver. Sana lahat ng hood ganyan na no. Hindi <laughs> yung nahanap po pa yung stick and then itatayo mo dito. Beautiful interior but this uh, cabin is quite full because of our camping uh, stuff. But uh, not too long ago, uh, some uh, three or four weeks back, uh, we were able to test drive this to uh, Bacolor, Pampanga and also to Clark. And uh, that was a fast drive, but uh, here we are on a more uh, leisure uh, trip. Uh, we are camping. If you notice, you have very fine leather, almost luxurious, if I may say. And then you have a wide uh, monitor right here that gives you information for the radio. And also when you do the maneuvering, the, the reverse uh, maneuvering. You have paddle shifters and uh, you have controls here for the audio entertainment system. The Photon Thunder has uh, improved tremendously from uh, the model that it had uh, some uh, three, four, five years uh, back. And uh, even the setup here uh, for the shift stick. This is very modern, very easy to uh, operate. You have cup holders right here. But uh, one thing you have to master is uh, the, the push button start. It, it won't start if you're not on the, the park uh, position. So uh, you have to make sure that you're on the park uh, position. Uh, if you want to go manual, just click like that and you can go on paddle shifters. But uh, personally, I prefer the full automatic when driving, especially on the highway. And then the letter E here, instead of the the usual letter D when you go on a drive. We're doing a test drive of the new Photon Thunder. This is the latest uh, generation of the Thunder. This is a very good uh, test drive uh, here in uh, Tanay Rizal. Very twisty roads. You also have uh, a lot of uh, uphill climbs and this is something that I really miss doing a real test drive going to some destinations and uh, really getting a good feel of the vehicle this is fun to drive actually I, I find the steering wheel a little bit small uh, compared to the other uh, pickup trucks but it gets some time to get used to it so now I'm quite uh, used to it and uh, I feel at home. And here's our car price watch for the 4x2 Photon Thunder with the automatic transmission. way to Clark uh, in Pampanga to take a look at uh, the plant and of course the new offering from Photon Philippines and this is the Photon Thunder 2.0 it has a new engine it has a new look and uh, it has a lot of other features we'll tell you more about this in a while The 
New Photon Thunder is special for Photon as this new model now sports its own developed power mill. The 2.0 liter inline Aokan diesel engine, engineered in collaboration with British and Australian companies. It is better than its old Cummins engine as it now turns out 160 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque. It is then paired with an 8 speed automatic gearbox with paddle shifter manual mode. We started the media drive at the Photon dealership along A. Bonifacio in Quezon City. We then headed to the Bacolor Pampanga dealership. Even with a short highway run, we were already able to feel how this workhorse performed. Fresh right from the plant with only around 130 kilometers total odometer reading, the pickup's engine response was smooth. We enjoyed its acceleration on long straights on the NLEX. Even with a short test drive, driving was enjoyable. When we arrived at the Bacolor dealership, we were warmly greeted by the employees. Alright, uh, let me uh, tell us about uh, the event that we have today, uh, test driving the whole new uh, Photon Thunder 2.0. Well, we want to showcase our new uh, model for uh, Thunder, which is the 2.0 automatic transmission. Remember last year we uh, introduced the model of uh, manual transmission, but now we want you to personally experience the power, the, the loading capacity, and the speed of our new automatic, each speed, if I may, tra automatic transmission of new Thunder. So this is the fourth generation of Thunder. Uh, we, we have quite a following of, of, of this uh, model. We started from Blizzard and now this uh, new generation Thunder. The 8-speed only applies to the automatic transmission. Uh, our manual transmission is, uh, has a 6-speed only uh, for the manual. For the automatic transmission, our SRP is 1,350,000. For the manual transmission, it's at uh, 1,180,000. And the uh, soon to be launched uh, 4x4 manual, it will be at 1,298,000. Treated to a brunch, and off we went to Photon's billion peso plant in Clark, Pampanga. Here, we were able to further dissect the vehicle. At the onset, it oozes with machismo. Even the sound is uh, very good for the entertainment system. I like the stick shift, very modern and uh, very handy. And even the steering wheel is soft yet sporty. You have the controls for the audio entertainment system at the tip of your thumb. There's also a pair of uh, paddle shifters uh, right here, just uh, below the steering wheel. So this is a huge improvement from uh, the previous Thunder. We're here at Clark. In this short uh, test drive, uh, went to the NLEX and then the Megadike uh, Road in uh, Porak, Pampanga, and then back to the wider roads in uh, Pampanga and Essex, and getting here at Clark in style. <laughs>
right off the bat, its British and rugged profile begins up front with palpable brand name at its front end, paired with sharp LED cluster headlamps that matches its curves and lines sloping through its body. The style has a touch of class. It boasts of black leather seats with that diamond-shaped design all over. It also has a roomier interior than its predecessor. Congratulations, Photon Philippines, for introducing the new Photon Thunder 2.0, another player in the growing pickup market. Isuzu Philippines Corporation's dealership in northern part of Davao region celebrated its second anniversary with the Mini Truck Festival in its dealer showroom from March 17 to 19. Isuzu Tagum, under the management of Image Motors Davao del Norte Inc., is one of the first dealerships to bear the Isuzu Outlet Standard or IOS design. Its showroom and expansive center can accommodate up to nine light commercial vehicles and four trucks. A virtual grand opening ceremony was held to commemorate the official opening of its doors to the public in 2021. Isuzu Tagum dealer principal Walter Alvarez said, for the past two years since the grand opening, they could not hold face-to-face -face events due to COVID-19. So this year, they invited everyone, especially the fleet customers, to come and visit the showroom and celebrate their second anniversary. For his part, IPC President Tetsuya Fujita congratulated Isuzu Tagum on their second anniversary. He also commended their team for celebrating the dealer's anniversary with customers through Mini Truck Fest. Global brand Great Wall Motor enters the Philippine automotive market with a preview of its lineup at the Bellevue in Alabang. GWM brings four outstanding products with this market, including the Haval H6 and Haval Jolio, developed with GWM Intelligent Modular Architecture. Great Wall Motor is set to take on the country's very competitive segments as the brand prepares to start the sales of Haval H6 and Haval Jolion. And finally, Honda Cars Philippines sustains efforts to contribute to better road safety through another round of interactive learning sessions for college students. There were 24 students from eight member schools of the youth organization who participated in HCPI's training program where classroom instruction on safe driving behavior was reinforced.
The demonstration of Honda sensing through an experiential drive proved effective in understanding how technology is applied in protecting the safety of the driver, passengers, as well as pedestrians. And that's our Auto News Update here on Auto Review. And that's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we would like to thank uh, Photon Philippines for providing us our test vehicle and camping vehicle. The Photon Thunder, the new one with the automatic uh, transmission. It's a 4x2 but very capable even on uh, roads that we passed here in Tanay. We certainly enjoy going back to camping and it reminds us of our younger days. Until next week, at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely and camp safely all the time. Maraming salamat po. Thank you.